So, Welcome, everybody. Yeah, we have already three people watching. Thank Welcome you. Welcome to July. Which is Welcome to July. <laughs> Once more. Yes, intense, 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 intense. And um, all I can say is um, I'm hoping that July is not going to be a, a replica of June because for me personally, it was it was just a touch challenging. <laughs> no, after that, I can tell you I've got the feeling July will be much more intense than June. Awesome. <laughs> just what I want to hear. <laughs> so just for everybody watching now, please write a comment if you would like to get a reading. Yes, so that we know please. the names, where it's there. And we have several things today. We will make an announcement after, but Antoinette, what do you propose today for readings? So today we you can have we're gonna we're gonna sort of kind of mix it up again like we did last month um i think people enjoyed and we definitely enjoyed doing something different so so once again you can either ask for general guidance or you can ask a specific question you can have a rune reading i'm going to be using my beautiful sacred runes again like i did last year last um last year last month um <laughs> ah the energies are still intense and um and if you would like a card reading, I'm also going to be using Rebecca Campbell's Starseed Oracle tonight and also a Beyond Lemuria um, Oracle tonight. So it'll be, I'll go whichever, for the people that don't ask for something specific, then I'll use my intuition and be guided to, to use either the runes or the cards. Or if you still want numerology, I'm happy to do that too. So you have that choice. Um, Kai is going to do something. I'll let her, I'll let her um, announce what she's going to, what new thing she's going to be doing tonight. So it's really exciting. I will do something new as well. So first of all, I've got cards. I've got three decks. Um, the wisdom of the oracle and the good tarot those from colored bat baron right and once more the muse tarot so you can choose this week and i will do a little paintings as well for those who would like to have this so these are the colors yes and i have already seen we have sean christiana zara anka and vanessa well, Hello everyone. Hello, beautiful souls. It's good. To, it's good to see you here. Yeah, Thank you for it's so beautiful. And I made a little list. And Sean, you were the first one. And if you don't mind, I put Zara on first first position because she is the only one from the other continent, from the from Canada, and it's really late for her, so she can go to well, bed. Really early. Early. But Sean, you have the second position. So I hope this is, and Sita is in. Beautiful, welcome. Beautiful, welcome everyone. It's beautiful to see you. So, and now you can make a little list while we talk about, uh, about the energies of July, what you wish to get in your reading. Yes, whether you'd like to ask a specific question or get a general guidance reading or whether you would like a rune reading for those that weren't on last last month. Um, I've actually I actually have a set of runes um, that I created myself when I was doing my metaphysics course. So um, they've all been channeled, and I have channeled messages to go with them. And then I will also pass on whatever comes through at the time. So if you would like that, please put that in the comments. Um, and yeah, so as Kaya said, please write if you would like to ask a question or if you would um, just want general guidance and what if, if you want a particular type of reading, then please put that down too. Okay, so July, we've made it, we've made it through to July and I, I'm feeling like the, the year is already split. <laughs> like it's like January to June and then July and for me personally like when the first of July came around it was like I felt a huge difference in energy mm -hmm. um yeah I'm praying it's not going to be so intense but because for me personally <laughs> I have gone through a lot of um 
let's let's just say I think my guides have put me through the ringer and and it's a case of okay um pretty much get your stuff together um you still need to work on this you still need to work on this you still need to work on this so really really core core stuff coming up um so I'm just going to go through some of the general themes like that you know have come through in in through channeling um for July 2021 so we're talking about self-care and reflection. We're talking about gaining clarity to move forward. Don't I know it? Take a leap of faith into the unknown. Integrate your soul wisdom with the world. And hence our, our theme for tonight is unity through soul wisdom. Be the ripple that unites all. And remember that we are one and there is no separation. So I, I really feel like we've done so much work on ourselves and inner reflection, and now it's time for us to take that wisdom out into the world. And it's, um, it's, it's, they're pushing us, they're pushing us to move forward now to, you, you know, we've, we've worked inside. In terms of numerology, July 2021 is a three. So it's all about networking and social and expressing ourselves, writing or drawing or being creative. So it's all about getting our wisdom out there into the world. So, and, and, and it's, it's really, really important that if you're still in that space of that intensity and you're still in that space to give yourself self-care and to actually sit and reflect and you will be shown what you need to, to get rid of or what you need to clear or what you need to, or who or what you need to leave behind. There's a lot of, there's a lot of shifting going on. Um, unfortunately, leaving things behind can be sometimes very painful and we have to grieve that. And so self-care is very important. Support of other people that will hold space for you is very important. And as we move forward, I, I feel like, you know, and it's also I feel like the energy is really ramping up and that's probably because it's the serious gateway at the moment, Kaya. We haven't spoken about this, but the... <laughs> and, and the 4th of July, what is uh, the special day in the US? Yeah. So, so, a lot of, so a lot of themes around that independence that we could talk about for hours and hours and hours, but we're not going to go there. Um, however, it's all about stepping in and expressing and, and sharing your wisdom with the world. So it's, it's a time for us to really take that leap of faith. And for me, it's really ringing true um, with, I, I have a special announcement to make and if Kai will allow me to make it now, I will make it now. Um, my, for those of you that know that I've been working on the Oracle card deck, for those of you that don't know, um, I've been working on the Oracle card deck for the last two years now and it's called Paint to Purpose Healing Oracle. And I am very happy to announce that I have finished the Oracle and we have a, I've, I've spoken with Kaya and I've also been guided to do the official launch of my card deck on the 8th of the 8th, which is, happens to be the first Sunday of August, which happens to be the date that we normally do our, our, um, our, our reading, our live reading. So, so yes, yeah, so I'm going with Lionsgate. I have, an, I have a Leo ascending in my chart and I've been guided to officially launch my cards on that day and I will be sharing them with you all as we will be doing our readings with my card deck. Yeah, the next live reading will just with Antoinette's cards. There are no other choice. And it's really have... interesting because I will interpret them as well or have a look. So... This will be a very special one. So there will be a special edition of our lives. So, and, and of course, it will be Lionsgate Portal. So it'll be all about stepping into our power and the power behind the lion. So I'm really, really excited. So for me, stepping, taking that leap of faith and stepping into the unknown is, 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 is all happening for me. So 
I'd be great if I could get, if, if you could join us for that beautiful special uh, event that we're going to have on the 8th of the 8th. And I'm getting all, all tongue tied because I'm getting so emotional about it because I've been <laughs> waiting for a very long time. So, so please forgive me for getting all tongue tied, but I'm just really excited about finally being able to share this share this card deck with you and this week I will be actually um, I will be actually opening up my website for pre-orders so I'll keep you posted on that I've been really working hard to start up my shop and and do all that technology related stuff that ugh, yeah anyway um, I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to conquer I'm going to conquer it so keep an eye out on Facebook for that announcement. Um, hopefully, if all goes well, you'll be able to pre-order my Oracle card deck um, this week through my website. So that's enough about me. Kaya, I shall put over to you to talk about yeah. the energy. Yep. Just, just before Danny stepped in, and what is interesting, we have now, I will read the order. Hello, Danny. Mm -hmm. We have... Zara, then Sean, Christiane, Anka, Vanessa, Sita, and Danny. And as mm -hmm. you all were members of the Wisdom Gathering Circle as well, we can announce that we will set up the private group this week as well until the next Wisdom Gathering Circle. And we will invite you if you want to join in this group because we had the feeling we are, not we, but through us, there is, is a tribe <laughs> coming together through these live readings and um, we have something in common something to share something create maybe as well but we don't know at the moment and we will create a private group on facebook and if you would like to join it will be set up until next sunday when we do the next wisdom gathering show and yes i will come a bit to the energies of july and i i, I think you all know that i have painted these painting for the whole year and what I haven't realized before, just, just this, this month, that when you see here is January, February, March, April, May, June, they are all in a way clear. And then it's becoming a bit chaotic here in the second half of the year. Just the September is a bit more clear. And I haven't seen that before. So for me, visible another there's something new coming in in the second half of this year i will read you quickly what i have channeled there's a video as well because this is this is really interesting what i found interesting as i made the video that this reading is speaking about the past as if something had already happened i realized that when i reread it because i forget things i channel so I will read it. Dust is settling. I get images of something broke down, a building, stones and scree and debris all over the place. A monument broke down. As the dust settles, I see people clear up, calm, connected. They work together, hand in hand. Old, young, men, women, all colors, all nations. Even when the shock is still to feel, this was needed. This monument had to broke down to free the space. What is freed is not just the space, but so much bigger. I can feel sadness and grief as well, as this breakdown brought losses with it. And all this is perfect. There's something so much bigger arising, like Phoenix out of the ashes. The world becomes quiet. Everybody knows what to do now, where his her place is. It feels for me as if this eruption, this massive breakdown, has not only crushed a mon monument, but cracked so many hearts open. And the only consequence possible now is solidarity, unity. We are all in this together. We all feel the shock. We all feel the freedom, the possibilities, the openness. Our minds don't know, our hearts know. And as this situation is so new, so unknown, we can't ask our mind for the way. Our heart knows. And the first step, very practical, to remove, to clean up all this debris, to clean the space, to open and free the earth underneath, together, 
all together. There's a knowing out of our hearts that we need each other now, that we can move on just together. And it was really interesting because at the moment, I don't see that we had a really huge breakdown of something, but what I thought of was really um, all what was going on in the last years around the COVID um, thing and that the pressure of vaccines is so big. All, and, and this is worldwide, this is really interesting. This, there's nobody who can say, <clears throat> I'm not, I'm not in this. <coughs> Especially us that live in Sydney because we are in lockdown. So it's, you know, for, you know, for us, it's, it's sort of gone backwards in terms of <coughs> you know, Europe seems to be opening up. It's summer. Things are, you know, things are for us, for a country that we seem to have it under control at the start. Now we're, now we're in lockdown. So and just we, we talk about it. I found it so interesting that we had in Europe on the Northern Hemisphere really half a year of lockdown, I think since September. And now it's summer, it's tourist season, everything is opening up. We can go to restaurants, we can move on streets without masks. And now you have winter, you go in lockdown after tourist season, after the season we can make money with people. <clears throat> Interesting, interesting. And you get a huge pressure for the vaccines as well. What we already have here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's, it's the world is constantly changing. And, and I, I think I think a lot of monuments, like you said, in, in are going to break down. And of course, I think that's that's um, symbology for the old systems breaking down and 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 showing us constantly that we cannot go back to how we were before. This is the time for huge change, and this is the time for us to move forward and and do things in a new way. And unity will come from soul wisdom, not from the mind. It'll come from the soul. So, so yeah. Okay, are we ready to start the readings? Yeah, and I'm, I just a had a, a pretty step, Anne, as well. So we have the whole tribe here. We have the whole tribe. <laughs> awesome, awesome. That's beautiful. That's, yeah. that's beautiful. Yes, um, start. so we're starting with Zara, aren't we? We're starting with Zara, who it's who is apparently sunburn, and it's two a.m. <laughs> So, um, so, so Zara has asked a few questions. Um, she said she just wants a general reading, but I, I know how much <laughs> uh, Zara, she wants me to sell my runes. Um, because I know how much you love my runes, I'm going to do a rune reading for you. And that will give Kaya some time to do the drawing. I do a drawing um, for Zara, yes. So just bear with us because we're just experimenting as well. So, <laughs> so um, we're all we're all just having fun together. So Zara, um, and thank you, thank you, Sean, for allowing Zara to go ahead because she's in Canada. She's currently on holidays and apparently sunburned and um, still awake, waiting for us to to give her reading. So thank you for being so gracious and allowing Zara to to go to go first. All right, beauty. Zara, I'm going to draw. Uh, I'm going to draw a room out for you. Let me have a look in my magic box. Um, okay, drawn to this one. So just bear with me until I find the channel. The channel reading that goes with this symbol. So these are really, really special to me. I, like I said, I, I did them during when I was studying metaphysics and they have been all um, channeled and energy and intention have been put into them. So I, it's, really, it's really special for me to be able to use them. Okay, Zara, so this is your rune. Hopefully you can see that. Wow. Oh. 
So without even looking at the, the, um, the explanation that the channeled message that I have for it, um, I think this is like really indicative of, of how you feel at the moment like, or how you have felt maybe in the last month or so where it's like, it's like this zigzag and it's like you've been a bit all over the place and I know you're travelling at the moment so it, I don't mean on a, on a location basis. I mean on in, like a, in, a, in a soul space and you know what, I will even go as far as headspace that you've been sort of like there and then there and then there and then there. Um, I think this is really indicative of where, where you've come from in terms of trying to be that, that person that, that does everything, that, that I need to be here, okay, I need to be here, no, I need, I need to be there, I need to do this, I need to do that. So I think, I think this rune has come out for you because it's actually showing you um, how far you've actually come like where you are at now and the head space and the soul space and the heart space that you're actually at now. Um, it has been like, it hasn't been a straight line. It's been, it's been, it's been a zigzag of a journey, but I actually believe that you're, you're, you're gaining, they're saying to me, you're gaining clarity. You actually are gaining a lot more clarity. Um, so, which means that you've, you've done the work like you've, you've gone through and you've really, really soul searched and you've really, you've really gone down deep into the depths of yourself to find the answers because we all know that the answers are within. And you've had a lot of questions and you've had a lot of uncertainty and you've had a lot of doubt and you've like, okay, have I done the right thing? Have I made the right decision? But by you taking that leap of faith and, and they really want you to look at the journey that you've taken and the journey that you've taken has been this zigzag. And we're all working progresses. You know, we're all, we're all constantly healing and the healing journey never ends. However, they really want you to look at yourself and where you are now compared to where you were before and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at the channeled reading now that I've got when I actually made this rune. <laughs> okay. So the, the title of the rune is Confidence. Master oneself, accept oneself, be strong. Embrace and be thankful. So it's really in line with what I was, what I was receiving because it's like have, have confidence. You know, have confidence in yourself. Have confidence in your decisions. You, you've gone through a lot of change. You've gone through a lot of challenge. You've gone through a lot of, let's just say, muck and zigzagging and here, there, everywhere to be able to, to get to this place. And now you're there. You're actually there. And I think in the next six months, like the first, the first half of the year was very chaotic for you. But I think in the next six months, because you've got such clarity and you've got, you've found the meaning and you found what's important to you and you've been able to have the courage to step into making decisions of, of closing things down or walking away from things in order for you to focus on the things that are the most important, this is where you have the confidence. So this is where you're at. You know, look at, look at your progress. Look at how much self-mastery you've actually achieved you know trust and accept and embrace embrace that and and be thankful for the journey you know this journey has been a really challenging one everyone has got a challenging journey and and it's it's not the straight line it's full of zigzags but you're at a point of clarity now and have the confidence within yourself to step out in that new clarity. You've done the inner work. Now it's time to step out in that clarity. So that's the message I get for you, Zara. So I'm hoping that resonates with you and I'm hoping your sunburn is not gonna to be too bad. Um, we are, it's very cold here in Sydney and we're on lockdown. So enjoy, 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 enjoy the sunshine, enjoy, enjoy the weather, enjoy the water. In, maybe put some lotion on, just saying, just saying. 
so you don't get burnt. But thank you again so much for, for staying up late to join us. And I will now pass over to Kaya. Sarah, I was listening and I was painting at the same time. I will show you the painting in a minute. And I was already so touched. I don't know if it was a painting, the message, everything coming together. So I show you what I painted for you. Here. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what I got while I was painting and listening to the message of Antoinette that you come to your roots now. You really, you come and this is, these are the roots of your soul. And it is, one thing is through the work you have done, all the work and you have hard work in the last years, really hard, made a hard, hard, hard work. And the other thing is what you, stepping in now, the work with indigenous people, I can't tell you what, but you will, maybe it's past lives you had a, in, in the tribe. I, I don't know, but you will, this will bring back parts of your soul that were missing. And this will bring such a freedom in your whole system. It's already starting since you step in that world. And I just, I had really moments, tears coming up and such a deep, being so deeply touched of what is happening in your life at the moment. And all will start to bloom. You know, I just, I, I started to paint this little heart and I remember that I made a painting for you with a tree with hearts coming out and these were hearts. It's where, back then I had the feeling this is where people around you, that this is your heart going out and blooming in, in every direction. And, and on the other, other hand, your heart, your soul, rooting, really rooting. Like this was coming back to your roots, to come back to your roots on a soul level at the moment. Beautiful. I will send you a picture. I will all send pictures of, of the paintings. I, mean, I don't know, Antoinette, if you something, see something, this is, well. <laughs> um, I'm just going to write down the rune that yeah, I pulled to that. Zara so that I can remember. Um, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, rooted in your soul. That's that's the message that I'm getting, and, and and this and this newfound confidence that you have, and and I think I think the heart the heart being you know rooted down there is that you know it's it's strong and it's confident and and you're ready you're ready to share it with the world. So it's you built the foundation for it. It's it's not it's not floating. It's actually grounded. So you know it's it's time for you to fly, Zara. Yeah, and, and in a really, this confident what you said, Antoinette, in a really um, so in peace with yourself and such a deep knowing where to go, what to do without, as if your mind yes. has not any longer a chance, it, it might try to distract you. And you will identify, okay, this is my ego. This is what's going on forever and ever. And you know, at the same time, this is not your truth. Yeah, absolutely. Your, your ego is not, your your headspace is not going to interfere. No. But you're, you're that solid, like you're, you're that solid in that root system now that when when the thoughts or the, you know, the monkey mind starts coming in, you'll be able to say no. I'm, I'm going with my heart. I'm going go with in this. I connect with it. And then it's becoming so quiet in your whole system and such a deep peace. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Thank you, Zara, for staying up and please look after that sunburn. Yes. Um, aloe vera and lavender oil. This mixture is... Perfect to you. 
and enjoy, enjoy, enjoy your trip with Nico. And, and we lo we're loving seeing the photos on Facebook. Yes. And have a good, good night's sleep. You, you may go to bed now. <laughs> yes. And we go on okay. with Sean. Now, Sean, have you, have she, has she actually asked for something in particular? I'd love a general reading, she said. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm drawn to the rune again. So I hope that's um, okay for me mm -hmm. to pull a rune for you. Um, and I will paint. Okay, so this is your rune. Um, <laughs> I don't, yes, prob probably pretty, pretty self explanatory. I, I get um, the information when I see this symbol. I don't know what the symbol is. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> and I, so this is your rune, um, Sean, and I, and it's and it's the heart, obviously. Um, let let me see what messages I get as I hold it. As, as I hold it, I I feel a lot of emotion coming up. Um, I don't know whether you're going through a really hard time at the moment about something or someone in particular. Um, I, I feel that all your emotions have come to the surface because I'm, I'm feeling a deep, deep, um, deep connection, like empathically, I'm feeling a, a very a strong emotions. Um, I think you've actually allowed yourself to feel them, whereas I think it's taken you a, a while to actually get to a point where you give yourself permission to feel your, your emotions. And, and I, I just feel like this outbreak, this, this, your heart is just, um, I don't want to say breaking, I want to say breaking open. Um, and, and I don't know whether you've, you've had to deal with some grief around something or someone. Um, but I, I feel that, that you've, you've actually allowed your heart to speak and you're actually hearing your heart speak and, and you're, not, you're not afraid. I, I, I wanna say you're not afraid anymore of those feelings that I think you used to really shut down inside because you were just too, too afraid to, to, to acknowledge them. And it was just easier on you on every level to, to, not, to not actually feel them so you would block them out um but I, I feel that you're also going to find a new level of self-love and self-worth from allowing yourself to to feel to feel these emotions within you that have held you back or have brought you down um, but by having the courage and the vulnerability to open your heart, your heart space, and to be able to actually sit with those feelings, you've, you've gained, you've gained, and you will continue to gain a deeper sense of self-love. And, and with that will come direction like will come clarity because you'll be a, you've, you've allowed yourself to actually connect with your authentic self. And I just, I just feel a lot of emotion around, around the heart chakra and, and the heart space and whether or not you've been going through healing or grieving or um, maybe forgiveness, but there's, there's, a, there's a new level of acceptance. There's, there's a new level of self-worth. And I'm, I'm going to look at the channeled reading that went with this card, with, sorry, with this rune when I created it. And it's called love. So, and as we know, 
love is all encompassing it you know it, it can be self-love it can be love for another person it can be love coming in it can you be you giving love to others it can be compassion it can be acceptance so so really really broad um but the messages that that i channeled with with um with that when i made that rune was self-love which i've already spoken about kindness unconditional unconditional love, total love, entire love on all levels. So I really feel with you it's, it's, it's the self-love component that has been challenging for you and it's you don't have any problem with giving love. It's, it's more a problem with receiving love, but it's also a, it's also a challenge for, for you with self-love. But... It's, the, it's like your heart is being opened and you're able to access those parts of you that you had shut out. That's what I really feel like is, um, is, is the, the meaning of this room for you specifically in that you are making, you've contacted, you've made contact with those parts of you and you're going through your process and you're actually helping, not helping, healing yourself from those wounds that have stopped you from accepting who you are and your authenticity and your truth. So, I, and you know what, just, they're just telling me, be proud, be proud of how far you've come and how you've allowed yourself to be vulnerable because being open in your heart space is always vulnerable. It's always vulnerability. And, and no matter who you are or what you do to open your heart space is it to be in your vulnerability. And that's not, and for some of us, it's really difficult to do. So keep opening up that heart space and be proud of, of how far you've come and embrace the love of the support that you have around you and allow them in, you know, it's okay to not be okay sometimes. It's okay for you to be able to receive the love of the of your loved ones or those who support you. So, so yeah, that's your that's your rune for today. So I shall pass over to, to Kaya now. Thank you, Antoinette. So beautiful and so so um well, this is so painful. So much resonance with what I found and I was getting when I was listening and painting at the same time. So I've got this image of something has cracked your heart open. Either it was something around you or you allowed a heart cracking open as well. And I, I don't think this was not an easy moment or easy process. But it is like a protection mechanism that was important for a long time. It's fallen away and it might feel like being naked at the moment. And there's so much healing of your heart taking place. And, and you're somebody, you, you care so much for others. And you're very strong for others. And showing up in, in this way, naked, out of your heart space and vulnerable is so this is so new for you and deeply frightening on a level but you don't have any chance anymore to to be different and to feel what's going on and, and to feel what's going on in you first of all because you felt for everybody else what's going on around you and, and to took care of them and now it's about really allowing yourself to feel what's going on in your heart and to take care of your heart as well <clears throat> and in that way as as um, Antoinette said to allow yourself to receive it's not easy for you and yeah, and I don't know what happened, but you have to receive at the moment. You have no other chance. Life, life has cared for you. So, and I see this, this heart, what is so open. And, and I don't know if you can see this is like energy waves protect them, your heart. And there's these sweet rose energy and the green for, for the healing energies. 
And this, I have got feeling, is like your heart is held. And you know, in, in the hands of angels, in the hands of your loved ones, you you don't have to hold your all what's coming up alone. And I just I get this there's so much healing of your heart taking place. And what Antoinette said to be proud, it is all also you when we feel weak when we are vulnerable, there's so much strength in showing up vulnerable. And this is so much more strength or, or powerful than holding up these armors all the time was really exhausting as well on a level and needs strength as well. But the real power is coming through when we show up vulnerable. And this is what you are asked to do. And, and I could think you have no other chance at the moment than to show up vulnerable and to receive the love. And that there's something in you really that is expecting that you will get hurt with this open heart because this was ex your experience when you were a child. And like one beautiful surprise after the other, how much love you receive in this vulnerable state. And take this in, take, take all this really in and, and let it sink in your whole system, your heart, your cell system to incorporate this experience of not being alone when your heart opens. I hope this has resonated. <laughs> I don't know Anna, if you if you have something else to. Um, no, I I don't think so. And it's, it's uh, I love it how how everything just um, flows. It's it's just incredible. It's it's just the magic, and and it's just you know it's it's beautiful to see. Then you know. To pick a rune and then to see Kaya's drawing and to see how they how they come inside, <clears throat> how they synchronize and and that's that's really 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 special. So, thank you for joining us. Okay, Christiana. Christiana. Yeah. Hi, Christiana. Thank you for joining us again. Um, has she asked for a specific? I haven't seen that. I'm just going through. Hello to Vanessa too. She's she was on. Hello, Danny. Um, hello, Sita. Hello, Christian. Are we just going through the comments? So just bear with us. Yeah. That's um, no, I don't think she's asked for a specific no. thing. So, so for you, Christiana, I'm being. I think I did a rune for you last last month. I can't can't remember. Yeah. However, I I'm being drawn to get you a card from the Lemuria deck. Oh yeah! Wow. I haven't wow. actually used this deck. Um, much but it's it's a it's a it's a very beautiful deck that is that is um have has got amazing art which i've become which i've become to to um acknowledge and appreciate more since i've started doing my own my own art um so i'm just going to get a card for you christiana and She's traveling as well at the moment. Oh, so she's traveling. So you yeah, may she's not be coming to the right. south of France. Oh, yeah. we will meet each other in person. Oh, soon. that's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. So safe travels for you, Christiana. I don't know if you're listening in this moment or not, but I'm just going to ask for a, ooh, two cards. <laughs> so I'm just going to ask. Okay, so they want me to show you this one for general guidance for you. Ah, oh, okay. Here's your card. So there were two cards that came flying. There were three actually, but 
they're wanting me to show you these two. So I'm in this order. So this one, so this first card is called Gracious Receptivity. And Christiana, this is all about receiving. Um, already there seems to be a bit of a theme happening in tonight's readings. Um, <laughs> even though we're using we're using different methods and, and different tools, but it's um it seems to be a common theme about receiving and acceptance coming out. So I'm, I'm just looking at the picture and if you look at the, uh, the, I think they might be hummingbirds. I'm not actually sure, but I think the, yeah. the birds might be hummingbirds. Mm -hmm. and, and I get when I look at, when I feel about hummingbirds, I'll just move this, I'll get this right. Um, I feel a sense of peace. Like I really, they, they're so they're so gentle and and they're so beautiful in their features and and they're so um, they're colourful and they're so unique. And and I think this is this is a reflection of who you are, Christiana. You're so gentle and beautiful and unique. And and as well as you know being always a giver, a giver, a giver, you know, always giving love, always giving out a lot. And so I look at the, I look at the hands here and your guides are asking you to, to be receptive, to be open, open to receiving again. So it, it's, it's this theme of allowing your heart to open, allowing yourself to receive and knowing that you are deserving to receive. And, and the picture is, is you know, the, the beautiful Lemurian, you know, holding, holding out her hands and, and ready, you know, it's, it's like, it's like your guides are telling me you're ready, you're ready to receive now, you're, you're ready to open up your heart, and whether or not that means to someone else, or whether that means to yourself. It's, it's like, you know, the, the your wings are opening up, like you've got if I, if I look here, there's like a, there's butterflies, there's like butterflies around and there's a real like strong colour of blue. So, and if you look closely, you might be able to see in that there's actually an eye sitting right in the middle of the throat chakra. So I, I think I think for you, um, you continue with the with the expression. Expression for you is important, and and whether or not that means speaking, or writing, or you know writing something down, writing a letter, burning it, not giving it to the person, you know some some sort of peace has to be made. I'm I'm getting something to do with um, peace because when I look at when I feel the hummingbirds I just feel like this gentle beautiful inner peace and harmony so I think for you there's there's something that you would like to whoops going this way would like to express and and I think in that expression it's going to bring you a lot of vision and clarity and open yourself up and open yourself up to receive so Perhaps it might be like I said, writing or speaking something. But if if you look at if you look at the picture, you can see these beautiful wings coming out mm -hmm. from up here, and and also I think they're um, they're also lower down here as well. So it's it's almost like your guides are saying, you know, you're 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 being gaining your strength. You've been gaining gaining your your courage and opening your heart and in that process your wings have been have been forming and I also see that there's a a nice little jewel here over the third eye um, and that to me means that your conscious level you're shifting your vibration is shifting <laughs> and the second card that came out and I'll move move to that one now because it, it's linked into the third eye is about awareness. Wow. <laughs> this is so interesting with my painting. This is so interesting. I want to 
So we're even we're, we're, we we get flabbergasted. We get like surprised because we we just cannot believe in the like the magic that comes out in these lives. How and how it's all synchronized. Can so I, can, I, can I can I hold up a painting just at this moment? Sure. See sure. Just. <laughs> Don't you just love it? Don't you just love it? Isn't That's that interesting. That is to total magic. And even the colours, the colours and the, you know, and, and it's just this opening up. And and I think it's, and I'll let I'll pull over to Kaya in a minute so that she can explain what she's getting. Mm -hmm. But the synchronicity is just incredible. So, you know, it's just, it, it's just in the pink and the indigo and the, and if you look inside that in the middle there, oh, in the middle, I'll work this out in a minute, um, in the middle there, the eye, like the eye is very, very powerful. And that to me is, is, is the, the next step in awakening your consciousness and, and awakening your awareness that third eye opening and activating and, and you being aware of the gifts that you have and accepting your intuition and listening to your intuition and, and you know, being able to embrace the gifts, your psychic gifts and your, and your vision and, and all of that. And, mm -hmm. and you know, vision is in both of these, mm -hmm. like the eye and the throat and then the eye here, but the jewel sitting on her third eye you know, it's it's time for it to open, and it's coming from a higher heart level because the pink, there's a lot of pink as well as blue, so it's coming from your soul space, not from your head space. I just so, you know the, the, the wings. Uh, yeah, I see the wings and the beauty and the grace, and then and then this power coming out of this awareness. Yeah. And what I had first of all, I, I started to paint the spiral here. I just I step in. We can we can you can absolutely go ahead. Go ahead from inside out, from outside in. So this, this is where the words coming. So the more you live from your real truth, the truth of your soul, your heart, and spread this. And just by living this and, and, and embodying this word again, <laughs> it goes out and, and there's so much power as well, power is this word again. And then it comes back. And it is not about doing or it's not about doing something. It's just being more and more yourself and following this immense inner wisdom that you have. And what, what, what is in you since millions of <laughs> lifetimes, I don't know, millions of eons of years. And, and obviously you have chosen as most of us or all of us this lifetime to crack it open and to let you be your true self. And I think this journey you in front of you, you we, we talked yesterday, will will show you parts of your soul you will collect parts of your soul you 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 will come a huge step closer to yourself and cracking open and, and embodying and making connections here and experience during your journey and uh, there's something really innocent about your going out how you are and what is beautiful as well as you leave your usual environment where you you are seen like a certain Christiana as people know you like a certain person it's this journey when you you will make connections on your journey with people and you will show up without knowing on a totally other way and this will be mirrored to yourself and this experience will help you to embody and not just to embody because you already embody but to um like root this this new true being yourself so then when you come back in your in your usual environment you will be another person and it will be so natural for yourself you will surprise people you will surprise yourself then <laughs> 
This is what I have. I just want to say, Christiana, I was really drawn to 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 this deck, this mm -hmm. this um, this particular event, and I and I think it's it's going to be relevant for some people, and it's definitely relevant for you because I was I was guided to to pull the card for you from that deck because mm -hmm. I really think you have. Um, your soul is a very old soul and you have a lot of, I don't know if you've had any connection to Lemuria or you've actually tapped into any of that yet, but they said to me it was very important for you that I draw the card from this deck. So I think it's going to be a clue for you um, it going forward and in, in your, um, your awakened awareness that where you're going to start to recover and remember some of the wisdom and the gifts that you have that you have built through your soul's journey. So you have a lot of wisdom to share, and and we are being called to unite through our soul wisdom. So I, um, it was a really really strong strong force to to pick the cards out for you. So. So I hope that helps and wherever you are traveling, I hope you're safe and um, you will have a wonderful time catching up with Kaya. I'm so jealous. <laughs> we will meet as well, Antoinette. Some, somewhere in this lifetime, we will meet each it other happen. person. It will happen. It will happen. So, okay. Anka is the next one. Anka. Okay, Anka, I'm drawn to draw a card for you from the Starseed Oracle. So this is this one. And I think you've just asked for a general reading. Okay, just whatever is important for me right now in regards to my life. Okay, awesome. Okay, Anka, I'm going to open this deck and shuffle a card for you. I'm going to ask the angels and guides to send some guidance to Anka. What does Anka need? Okay, that was pretty quick. <laughs> okay. All right, Anka. So this is your card. Water your garden. So let me just get that into focus. Beautiful. Sorry, guys, I'm new at this thing, so just bear with me. <laughs> but it's so okay. I think it's just the, the writing that is a bit flu. Okay. So the writing, so it says water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. So for you, Anka, I think you need to self-care. I'm feeling that you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself. Mm -hmm. I feel that um, <laughs> you there is some impatience there. There is like, when is this going to happen to me? When is what I want? When is the life that I want going to happen to me? Um, and, and I feel that you, there's some frustration as well there. So when I, when I look at, at, this, at this picture, there's a picture of somebody just bathing. And, and I think, I think it's, it's an important thing for you to cleanse your space and for you to cleanse yourself now, right now. Um, I know that you're very sensitive to energy and, and I, I think you're picking up a lot of outside energy that, that doesn't belong to you. And it's, it's actually affecting, um, affecting you a lot in terms of feeling very frustrated and impatient. And um, I don't wanna say angry, but just frustrated. And, and I feel like it's, you don't really give um, a lot of 
time to yourself. And one of the themes for July is self-care and reflection. And, and I think I think for you it's really, really paramount right now. And and I just I just feel like um, I know it's summer over there, so I'm hoping that you're able to go to the beach or you know somewhere where you're able to to cleanse because I'm feeling the water is really, really important for you. So I, I don't know if you're able to get to the water, um, whether it be ocean or river or lake or um, or wherever you live, but I really feel like you need to immerse, the, the word that's coming through is immerse yourself, immerse yourself in your quiet space and allow yourself to feel peace. That's the, a direct message that they're saying to you don't put so much pressure on yourself everything is in divine timing i know you're i know you you're wanting you're wanting this however it needs to come with steps they're saying and like this i think this this i don't know if it's the sun or the moon in in the picture but in the picture itself mm -hmm. there's like this beautiful light and and it's like the person in the picture is looking towards the light. And for me, the, the light of the sun or the moon in the picture is, is, is showing me that you're looking forward, like you're, you're looking at this, 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 this life that you want, this light that you want. Um, and, and you feel like you've been working so hard to, to get towards it. Um, but the, for, for me, it's like you need to do some cleansing, you need to do some reflection, um, you know, and water is around our emotions. So I would say that they're wanting you to sit with your emotions, but do not judge them. Be gentle on yourself and don't fall into old patterning or old conditions where where you you may not be allowed to, to to wish you may not be allowed to think about what you possibly want so so allowing yourself to be open and understanding to yourself and not have judgment around what is coming up for you and and not have judgment around what it is that you want and how you want to live and and how and this this light you know this light is is your future and and what you are working towards but it's really really important to to rest and give yourself some TLC you know whichever way that works for you even if it's just having some time out or or just you know enjoying the sun or enjoying the the weather it's warmer it should be warmer over there where you are um and and just having some time out and knowing that it's okay and and you will do your steps you will walk your you know and the water is your emotions you will do your steps you will step through your emotions you will step through them just love them and love yourself and allow yourself to be in your in your space and and not have the judgment around what you're feeling or or what you want to achieve so nourish nourish and nurture yourself Anka that's really important for you for this for this month and in very much in in with in line with one of the with one of the themes of being you know self-care and, and relaxation and being able to rest when you can because you're going through a lot of change and it's actually quite draining on your body and we all are and I think we're all pretty much drained and tired and we need to make sure that we have time for ourselves and not be so pushed and pushed and pushed to work or, or to achieve something and just say, okay, now I've worked, but now I want to have some time out. So self-care, very, very important for you, Anka, this month. I'm going to go over to Kaya now. Thank you. Yeah, this is so interesting, Antoinette. It was really so. So the first thing I painted was this one, and I got the information, Anka, you are held when I painted. You are held. And when I painted and listened to you at the same time, 
it is, it is really so resonating with what I get. Um, Anka, you're in a huge transformation at the moment and you're really, there's something cracking, cracking. It is like leaving an old concept of how you thought your life should be behind. And it feels not any longer right, but the new one is not there. And you're in this in-between that is not comfortable. And what, what Anton said, you want to be on the other side and you get glimpses and you want to be, and you want to do it. That this doing is coming out of the old. And it might confuse your mind, but what, what, what Antoinette told you and what I get, get totally that part of the healing process of the cracking open is doing nothing and just surrendering. And not, not doing healing, just letting it happen. And in ways that might be completely different than you thought. So I can totally relate to what Anton had said that what's first of all needed is self-care at the moment and relaxing and surrendering and letting go of any thought what you have to do to accelerate your healing because it is disturbing your healing in a way. It is stepping in your own way. And the more you can relax and go in nature, connect with water, and trust even when a part of you is not at all trusting that you are held and that the universal forces are working in your favor and this relaxing and taking care of yourself is doing your healing because this is something you're not you haven't allowed yourself not really for a long time mm -hmm. And, and when you do out of this mind, what says, I have to do this for mailing, I have to do this, I have to process this, I have to work, I have to search for work, mm -hmm. you block that, that what is there for you can come to you. But when you go to, a, even you're living in a city, to a swimming pool, to a, to, I don't know if you have, um, public public swimming pools connect with water even when you know it's not natural it's not the healthiest water but this water will clean you will help you to surrender and just lying in the sun we have a had a chat today Antoinette allowed you herself to sit just two hours in the sun today and she's such a hard worker and doing so <laughs> many work and it it is this little spot when healing is happening yeah Definitely, definitely. Like we think we have to keep going and we put so much pressure on ourselves, but we can stop if it's just for a couple of hours and, and then we'll go back and we'll be feeling very much more energised and, and that, you know, the, keep, the, the message is, Anka, keeps coming, stop putting pressure on yourself. Yes, yes. And all what you wish for is there and will come to you. Don't worry. Don't let your mind tell you anything else don't let tell let your mind tell you that you have to do a lot of things to reach what you wish for and it might look totally different than you imagine at the moment because and this is for everybody we can't imagine the new we don't know it and we try it with what what we know but this is the old way and what is really asked for you, you saw really the first information when I was painting this, you are held, you're cared for. Surrender, 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 surrender. Again and again, remind yourself to remain, to surrender and, and, and take care of yourself. Thank you, Alka. Thank you for coming and joining us again and always, yes. always support us so much. And I hope that helps. Yes, me too. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm just, I'm just trying to get the comments and up. And, and Vanessa is the next one. Vanessa? Yes, Vanessa. And thank you, Vanessa. Vanessa is in Victoria. So, Victor, she knows very well what it's like to be in lockdown. Okay. As well. <laughs> Sorry? 
she's affected as well. Was well, time. no, not this time, but um, she's been she's been in lockdown many times. So thank you for sending us Sydney siders love because we're we're in lockdown and and dealing with all of that at the moment. So thank you, Vanessa, for your beautiful words. Okay, Vanessa, I'm 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 drawn to a rune for you. So I hope that's okay. <clears throat> For me to do that for you. Sorry. She wrote that the general and whatever comes up, something like that. Okay, thank you, Kai. <clears throat> so I'm going to pick a rune for you, Vanessa. For the month of July, generally. July, general reading. So we're just talking about Sun and Vanessa. Your room for July. <laughs> they are so beautiful, your rooms, and deeply touching. Ah, uh, there. It was the. It was such a beautiful pro process doing them and channeling them, and, <clears throat> and now I can use them to help others, and that's that's really. That's really touches me very deeply. I think you have to figure out after the work with Kardec how to re reproduce them. <laughs> no pressure. No yes. pressure. Surrender. It will come to you. That's right. It will. And it's beautiful that you guys are, are really loving my runes and it really means a lot to me. So, um, yes, I, I will definitely um, give some thought as to how I can share them with the world. So, Vanessa, when you look at this rune, the first thing that comes to me is, is like, well, there's two things actually that, that come up. So it's, it's in the symbol of the, of the sun. And, you know, without looking at the, at the message that I channeled, first thing I see is the sun. But then when I look at it again, I also see a wheel. And for me, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a little bit of a message on, on both, on both interpretations. The, the, actual, the actual channeled message, it's the, the symbol actually is shine. So it's, for me, it's what the first interpretation of the sun. So it's shine your light, be your light, shine bright. And, and when I look at the, the, the message that goes with the rune, it says, bright, the stars, the moon, the glow, the light, illuminate, show your real self and create. So with the sun, obviously it's, it's, our, it's, our, it's our warmth, it's our light. It shows us the way during the day. There's so many different interpretations of, of sun and, and you can even go on, on the basis of the divine masculine being the sun. So it's about doing and taking action. Um, and and I think I think it's it's the sun for you is it means shine, but it's also asking you to take some sort of action um, and create. Now I I don't know in what form um, whether it, it will be something artistic or whether it's a new job or a new pathway or it, it can be anything. However, it's, I'm feeling a strong sense of stepping into your power, shining your light, illuminating, creating, opening up and showing that to the world. So again, we, we go on the, the theme for tonight of unity through soul wisdom. So it's the sun, the sun rune is really asking you, the shine rune, sorry, is really asking you to glow and to light up and to show your real self. So you're really, really afraid um, to show your real self. And, and that there's a lot of there's a lot of conditioning around that and what is acceptable and what isn't acceptable, I feel. Um, this rune is calling you now to shine your light, to not be afraid, to actually activate the divine masculine within you and step into the action and take your real self and express it outwards in some sort of creative creative form 
or um, and creation doesn't necessarily mean art. It can be anything that you create. Um, and and I feel that on on the on the interpretation of a wheel, and this is just new information that's coming through now about the wheel. It's like the wheels are turning, times are changing, um, things are changing around you, <laughs> things are changing around everyone. Um, but now they're calling you to, to turn your wheel. And, and it's like it, it's like your soul is your wheel and, and it's asking you to turn it. And, you know, often we say, the, the wheel of fortune, like, you know, the, and, and like I'm, I'm getting an image of um, this wheel turning and, and, and then just stopping and then just turning again and then just stopping. And, and it's, it's almost like, I want to say, have a go. <laughs> and she's an Aussie, so she, she can relate to, to this, to this um, slang. Um, that you people in Europe and around the world may not, you know, we, we say, oh, have a go, you know, have a go at it and, and not be afraid. And, and I feel like the wheel is like, turn those wheels, turn, turn, turn the soul, open your heart, open your soul, turn it around, step into action, step into your divine, divine masculine, um, you know, be practical, figure out how you're going to do it. And then, and then spread it out, spread that light out, spread that shine, you know, shine that light out to the world. And, and it's the time for us to unite with soul wisdom. And you have a lot of soul wisdom that you can share. And you just need to believe in yourself and believe in your light. And take, they keep saying to me, take action, take action. So I don't know if there's a decision maybe that you're wanting to make or you've been um, putting off making, but they really want you to step into your sun, which is your divine masculine, and take action and, and you know, have, have thought around it and plan it and be creative and then take it out. So... So yeah, so shine, shine, Vanessa, shine, and also the the metaphor about the wheel, which is which was just coming in during the reading. So um, I hope I hope that helps and gives you some direction for July and which way you should be you should be going. Have confidence in yourself and 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 show your real self because there is true wisdom there, and and start taking the action to be able to show your real self to the world and. We can't wait to see who you are. And I shall pass over to Kaya. Thank you. Vanessa, once more, the painting. And the first, what I started with was a violet here. And violet, I don't know, it, at the moment here, it's connected for me with the soul and the soul wisdom and the depth of the soul. And this was the first information coming through, listening to internet and painting and letting the information in. But I got the feeling that your soul is shouting at you at the moment. <laughs> but there's so much wisdom of your soul coming up, but is a bit confronting for what you're conditioned. And, and it is really pushing you. It is really so, it's like, like a little fight in you, or maybe a big fight. But this wisdom is coming up and there's so much, it, it is surprising you sometimes in situations and you know things and you know how it would be right, how it would feel right. And then it's the actual situation and it feels different or people want you to be different or you think that you have to be different. Maybe it's even not other people, but it's, it's really your conditioning that is asking you to be different. Your belief system let's let's take it like this or say like this and this is really confusing for you and and irritating and what if you allow at a first step to to be in the situation like it is and and let all this be there 
and just let this wisdom of your soul be there without directly acting it out even when you're asked to act it out and I have the feeling it will be you have to ground it first of all in yourself before you can become this shining sun because there is a step to make to really allow yourself to embody this wisdom and, and to show it to the world to shine your light this will happen but you can't see this at the moment. For the moment, is this is pressing and pressing and wanting to come out and wanting to come out, and it feels uncomfortable. It is frightening because you 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 are not there. This will happen. This is shining, and what Antoinette said was a real. This is so interesting because you're in a big transformation. It's nearly everybody on earth at the moment, <laughs> <laughs> so you're not alone in this. Nope. nope and and this you feel this pressure to make the next step and the fear to make the next step because this this will come when you make the next step but what what you feel for the moment and, and there's a truth in it that you will really leave something behind you what was your you were used to this. This is this, this something comfortable in it because you know it. And follow totally the truth of your soul, of your heart. This is something you have experienced like this little. That make make this big step. What is asked for of you at the moment? And at the end, it's kind of like for Anka to surrender. And to breathe in this and, and to let the fear be there as well, that people can find you weird and different. And we all are. And it's it's again and again for me as well. And I don't know, Antoinette, you might know it as well. To step out with this, let's call it spiritual part of <laughs> us. But, but yeah, I just, I'm so in resistance with this word spiritual because for me, this is, this is a, an etiquette, a stamp, your spiritual. For me, yeah. this is what we what is our true nature. Our authentic self. Yeah. Yes. And of every human being. And putting away all these masks. And just being there. And there's so much power when you do this step. There's so much power in this. And this is what, what Anton had said with the heart and what I see as well. This will you will shine so bright just by being yourself. Yeah, I got goosebumps on that so maybe. Yeah, and she's already, um, Vanessa has written in the comments, Kaya, that she's actually been creating in the last in the months and she's been creating art and she's actually having a go, as we say, in Aussie land and I just want to say, Vanessa, it's thank you for sharing that with us because yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, you know how how our guidance is resonating for you, and how you've already started to take that action and and explore. You know, and have the courage to explore, and and you've already stepping into your your. It's beautiful because you're stepping into your divine feminine with your creativity, mm -hmm. but then you're also stepping in your divine masculine by taking action. So, and June was all about balance, you know, the yin and the yang and, and, and in unity. Arm, in a unity. unity. And it's, oh, uh, it's just, oh, it's so thank you for sharing yes. that with us. Go for it. Go for it, Vanessa. We believe in you. We <laughs> do. do. And it's beautiful to hear that you, you're taking that courage and, you know, listening to your soul, soul whispers and creating that beautiful art. And we can't wait to see what you're going yeah. to create. And, and, you know, but take your time. It's all in divine timing. You know, it's as much as we want to rush the process. I mean, many times I've, I've become frustrated with my card deck that, you know, I want to rush the process and then something happens to slow it down and, and I'm like, okay, all right, it's, you know, something, it's all, it's all in divine. And now I know it's because I'm meant to launch in August. So, yeah, it's, it's just an example of how, how we can you know be anxious and and impatient 
and want everything to happen, you know, but take your time and listen to your soul and, and create beautiful art and have and express yourself and yes. your real self through through that. And that's beautiful that you shared that with us. So and have you a look so as well, Antoinette, you know you painted as well and, and I do this painting. And just through the pro process of painting, no matter what will happen with painting afterward, there's so much happening healing. in us, healing taking place and expressing Absolutely. ourselves on the level that's not coming from here. No. And it's the beauty of the process, you yeah. know, and not, I mean, when I started creating, I didn't, I didn't intend on actually publishing a deck. That wasn't, I was just playing as I thought I was just playing and expressing. So, you know, I, I guess it's important not to think of the end if there's going to be an end game, you know, and just, and just go with the flow and, and use it as a cathartic healing process because it's 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 really healing on a very very deep level so i'm so happy to hear that vanessa my, my yeah, it's really amazing cool. you know i just i just when i was young i wanted to study art and i stepped back from this because i put so much pressure on myself that i have to be good in art in a way and, and judge myself and compare myself and when i restarted painting with a with a, with a child and then I discovered this, this kind of intuitive painting with letting go of, of an, whatever will come out on the, on, the, on the canvas, on the paper. I just follow what I do here as well. I'm pulled to a color, then, then a certain form is coming out, then, then it goes on and just enjoy the process. Enjoy just the process of creating. And you're already taking action because you're, you're creating beautiful things. So thank you, Vanessa, for joining. And happy arting. Yes. Connect with your child. Have fun. <laughs> Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. So Sita is next. Sita is next. And I think she just wanted a general as well. If I have. Okay, Sita. You're telling me to draw a card from the Starseed Oracle for you. Mm -hmm. So I will go ahead and do that. Is, is it just a general um, reading, Kaya, for Sita? Uh, anything you just add around to whatever the source would like okay. me to know. Okay. I All right. Card for Sita, guidance for July. What is it that you would like her to know? Wow, this is a beautiful card. This is your card, Sita. Jump in. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. The universe. <laughs> wow. Oh, as I get goosebumps. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. So the card says, so this is from the Starseed Oracles, Sita. Um, adventure. Say yes to change. Adramedan energy. Now I'm not quite sure what that means. We might have to, you might have to Google that one. I, I don't know. I, I think it's something to do with cosmic energy, but I'm I, I'm not actually familiar with that term. So I'll just go based on what I see in the card. So um, <laughs> I hate to say it, Sita, but I think they're saying to me, no more procrastination. <laughs> uh, <laughs> your guides are being, your guides are being, and I'm sure you're feeling this, um, your guides are, are being a bit forceful in saying, Sita, my dear, no more procrastination. You know what you have to do. You've been preparing for a long time. You've been preparing your whole life for this, they're saying. Not just this life. They, they, I think. <laughs> You've been preparing your whole life for this message. 
um, you know, it's 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 time for you to take that giant leap of faith, which was with another another theme for July. So all all your readings are falling into the channeled message that I received for the um, for the energies for July. But when I look at you know when it says um, adventure and say yes to change, but it's so it's somebody jumping in, literally jumping in <clears throat> the middle of the universe. So it's, it's like, to me, it's like no more outside, no more, like you're surrounded by the universe. Like there's so many colours in this beautiful card and there's so much light and excitement. And, and, I, and I actually feel a, a, a feeling of excitement and adventure and it's like a wide open child looking at the world in a different way, um, you know, or, or looking at the world for the first time in, in in that you're seeing things that you've never seen before you're experiencing things that you've never experienced before and you're in that childlike wonder and 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 it's like just do it <laughs> I, I it's it's like it's like you're you sort of um I'm, I'm getting this image and, and, and of course the card is jumping into the, the universe here. So jumping into, into faith and jumping into surrender. Um, but it's like I'm getting this image of you being on this on the edge of this diving board and, and, and you're just jumping and jumping and the diving board is, is jumping with you and you're preparing and you're preparing and you maybe some procrastination in there as well. And as we all do. And, and then jump a bit more, jump a bit more, jump and get closer to the edge, get closer to the edge, get closer to the edge. And, and I'm feeling like this real, um, this feeling of suspense. <laughs> like it's really like, like it, you've got, you've been, it's been brewing. It's been brewing. It's the, the you know, the coffee pot is brewing and brewing and brewing. And it's just about, it's just about ready. It's just about ready. And, and they're saying to you, right, you're ready, jump in. <laughs> so I, I don't know if it's a new path that you're taking. I don't know if it's something that you're preparing to share with the world. Uh, you know, it's it's just whatever it is, they're, they're just saying to me, jump in, tell her it's okay, tell her that she's done enough preparation, um, more than enough preparation. They're, they're being very sarcastic, I might say, Sita. Um <laughs> it's it's actually quite funny to to feel this energy and a lot of fun in that as well. It, it if you like, let it let it come through, Sita, there's a yeah. lot of fun there yeah. for you. If you no, let like, if you let it arise, if you let it, if you know, stop thinking you're not ready, or you know, if we keep on thinking, am I ready? Am I ready? Am I ready? We're never going to be ready. Like so, the mind sort of kind of tells us we're not ready. But it's like it's like this this message is coming with such um, humor, and yeah. it's like, really, are you still thinking about it? Like, really, um, haven't we been preparing you for this? Haven't you prepared for this? And 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 I think I think it's a whatever it is, it's a massive change. Like it, it's something that you've never, you know, you've never even, you know, you. have it's like imagine she can't imagine right. that. Can't even imagine it. Thank you, not, yes this one is too limited to imagine what will happen yeah. then that's right and and it's like it's when you jump in you're going to create this ripple of this amazing um color that is coming around and around and you know all shades of color and everything is going to change and when when you finally take that final step and say, I'm going to have a go, I'm going to do it, it's, it's that breakthrough, like I'm, I'm just feeling you actually jumping into the water now and, and the impact that you, that you will have will be so huge that I can see like the ripple effect coming, coming out and it's, you know, the splash, the splash of the water of you jumping in and, and, it's, and you're going to do it with such... Um, certainty and such clarity that you you won't even be able to see what 
you were experiencing before. Like you, you won't even, it, 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 will, it will be so embracing for you and it will be so comfortable for you that you won't, you won't even see what was behind or you won't even think about what was behind. So they're really, they're really, really calling you to jump in, Sita. It's, it's, it's very, like the comedy of your guides is quite um, interesting. In, in the very, very, very intelligent, sarcastic guide um, that is really saying, really, really, do you really need a card so that you can actually jump in? <laughs> So, but it, it comes from so much love and so much, and, and it's beautiful because they, they're, they're making it light, like they're, they're trying to make it light. And, and for me, it's, it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be open and you're not going to know yourself. Like You're just not going to know yourself. And, and you, I think you're even going to say to yourself, oh, why did it take me so long to do this? But we all have a process, right? And honor the process. And and but it's time for you to jump in, beautiful Sita. Jump into whatever you desire. The universe is yours. The universe has got your back. And it's going to cause such a ripple effect. And there's just going to be so much color in your life and so much fun. So I will pass over to Kaya. She looks like she is in great anticipation to give you your message. So whoo! Right. You know, the first word or energy coming through, and there's so much fun, really, I, I, I send it, is passion. And, and, there, and there's so much power coming through you, and you use at the moment a lot of your power to hold this back. And this is exhausting. <laughs> because <laughs> you're sitting on it, and it's becoming, sorry, I will become unpolite now. It's becoming really hot under your ass at the moment. <laughs> You're cooking up. Because this energy will flow. Oh, see, and to express to this is really hard work. And, and it will be life-changing. And I come back to this. This is a frightening for everybody of us. But once you let this passion and power come through you, it will carry you, it will nourish you, it will, it will, you will carry away with that. And then all these miracles will happen. You will make them happen, but it is even not making, it will happen through you, through this power. And this is passion of your heart and passion of your of your passion, of your soul. <laughs> and you will have so much fun. And, and this is something what, um, with this procrastination process, what Antoinette said, you, you, what, when you had said, I'm not ready, I can't step out. And, and what will the people think of me? What will my family think of me? And you know, your husband is waiting for you to let this flow. Akriti is waiting for you to let this flow. They all no feel it and they feel how you suppress it and hold it back. And how, and this is so exhausting, Sita, and you know that. You, ha, you make this power naps because also because there's so much energy coming in and you feel often so exhausted. And this is when your head stepping in saying, no, we can't do this work. You don't have the power because you use your power to hold this back. And this will carry you and this will, it is fireworks coming through you. So just, I, I know we gave you this information already. Go. <laughs> Go. And, and it, it is in a way like, you know, what I told, what, what we had with Anka, it is surrendering in what is. But for Anka, it's a small surrendering in the sweetness and, and doing nothing. For you, it's also doing nothing. Just let this happen. Just let it come through you. 
and everything else will fall in place. And when you let this, and it is passion, you, you're such a passionate person, but you, you have, it's interesting because you live in England and there's this English politeness after you, what is beautiful. I, I love this. We love that. And you can keep after you, but you know, you can say after you, or you can say after you. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing is this Sita who was just trying to be a polite English person and be fitting in the system after you. But this is not you, you are, this is not your power. This will come through you and you will always be a loving, polite person always, and always. a caring person because it's your nature. It's your authentic self. Let it flow. Let it burn. Let this burn. Burn, babe, burn. Yes. Let yourself be a firework, an explosion of love and passion. And I can tell you something, you can't really any longer hold this back. So don't do it any longer. Don't hold back. This will come through anyway. It's too powerful. So I hope it was helpful. She so just put up some laughing faces. So I think she can just... <laughs> She's, she want, wants some more confirmation. Come in the next wisdom circle, and and we want you there with all this power, <laughs> working it out, leaving it out. With all of your passion, and you know that burning ass stuff, we'll deal with that. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Sita. Thanks, thanks for the laugh. Yes. Yes. Thanks for having such a good sense of humor, because that's you know your your guides are hilarious tonight. So. And this will help you, your humor. In the moments of fear, step into the humor. Talk with your with your own, own um, I would say souls in your head, but this is this is this is this is not the soul. This is what your mind is is telling you. This is interesting. And just your ego is so tricky as all of our egos are. Your ego will speak with your pretend this is this, this uh, voice of your soul telling you no we are not ready make jokes with this voice yeah yeah that's a good point make jokes Say, yeah lovely ego i know you are the ego because my soul will not tell me to hold back i will burn you <laughs> joke with your ego this will help you to let funny. this come through. This is such a funny reading, and it's yeah, the, the, it's just so crazy. So it's 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 uh, Sita, jump in, jump in, <laughs> just do it with humor and with Vanessa's humor and all your power. Vanessa's written to Sita, just do it. Okay, um, did a creature want a reading? I think, wow. I, I, I think yes. So we have we have a few a few more people. Um, yeah. Please, please forgive me if I'm not not pronouncing your name. There's the Jared. There's Jared, and there's Aisha. Aisha, is that how you pronounce your name? No. So we will. We're doing this um, in order. So is it a creature that will be next? No, yeah. Danny. Danny and then a creature. Okay. Okay, Danny. All right, Starseed Oracle for you. I think they actually want me to, to take a card from each deck. So <laughs> Danny, yeah. this is a card for you. So did she just want general guidance, Kaya? I think yes. I, I, I <laughs> guidance for Danny. Danny. I will have a look, but I haven't seen anything for just the Just bear with me we work through the list. 
Thank you for, for coming on, Jared and Aisha, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I'm not sure that Aisha is not, is real. But Jared, you will get a reading in any case. Don't worry, you're the last. Aisha, if you're still there, can you please write us another comment? So, okay, we go to Danny. Go to Danny. General guidance for Danny for July. Danny. Taking a while for a card to come out for you, Danny. I'm picking up a bit of a unsure feeling from you. And I think this is why the cards are not coming out. So probably this time. Yeah, and there's something interesting going on. You have a card? Yeah, yeah I, I'm. I'm actually picking up a bit of um, a bit of a chaotic energy. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is a beautiful card. This is Danny. This is your card. It's deep cellular healing, and I think this is why. I'm Picking up um, some uncertainty or or insecurity because you're and I mean we keep saying this for everybody because it's it's just the time for massive massive transformation. Mm -hmm. So it says deep cellular healing, Arcturus energy. So that's that's linked to the Arcturians, which which are cosmic beings, which I actually have a connection with myself. Um, physical and emotional healing. Now, with the Arcturian energy, I, I know that I connect to the Arcturian energy and it's, I know that it's, it came in my, into my awareness when I actually started um, my practice and I guess, and for me, the Arcturians are actually connected to teaching and it's, and you are a teacher. Uh, I already know that about you. So it's, it's once again, I, I think you're expanding your consciousness. Um, not I think, I know. I know you're expanding your consciousness. And when I look at this, at this picture, it's, it's a deep, there's a, there's a picture of a, a beautiful lady there um, changing her structure. Um, I want to say changing her structure and it's it's deep healing on a physical and an emotional level um, it's it's the going through the process of your healing it's it's like your composition your your composition at a soul level at a cell level is actually shifting and changing and and I've I've said this to you many on um, a huge role with children and we repeat this now and again you know in in the lives because it's you are actually going through a, a bit of um, a chaotic time it appears to be chaos however you, I sort of kind of feel like you're here there you're everywhere and that's because your cellular you are healing on a deep cell level, which means that you are shifting and releasing and actually changing your DNA structure. Now that sounds like really, really scientific, but it's <laughs> it's it's like you've come to this earth with a purpose and you are a star seed and you are connected to the cosmos as we all are. But with you, the Arcturian energy is really, really important. So I, I think it's, it's it would be good if you haven't done any research about that energy it would be good for you to do some any um, some research around that they're very much linked to teaching so it's 
but what I'm feeling is this this space that you're at at the moment is is feeling chaotic to you but we have to remember that a lot of the old systems are breaking down there's a lot of change there's a lot of um there's a lot of debris there's a lot of um there can be a lot of loss with you know letting old systems fall fall down and we're in this where we're actually gaining the strength and the awareness to be able to step away from the old system allow our system to heal and then move out into the new system so you're very much i feel like you're very much in this in between in this in between um, space right now, and you need this in between space for you to go through your physical and healing because your healing is on a very very deep level, uh, and I think your healing, perhaps on a deeper level than you're consciously even aware of, and your you know it's, it's showing up for you in in some sort of um i'm here i'm there i'm everywhere and uncertainty and security but it's necessary for you to to move to be able to move on to the next phase of the development in which where you'll be able to implement and actually bring into existence some of the wisdom and some of the changes that you want to actually bring into the school system. But I'm also drawn to, 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 to a card from the Lemuria deck because I think it's it's all relevant, um, you know, the that you're here to make big changes. Your purpose is to, to cement and bring about some new changes. And, and the chaos is part of a session in that when we're trying to break out of an old system or an old conditioning that we find ourselves in chaos because we no longer align with the old system and we're stuck in this in-between where we have to actually confront ourselves and do the deep healing before we're able to actually increase our frequency and vibration and move into ascension. So chaos is 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 all around us at the moment, um, and it's and it's necessary. It's a necessary part of the the new earth that we are that we've agreed to come here to to um, to bridge over for generations to come. So I'm just going to this card. Ah. Okay, so this card from the Lemuria deck is Lumen Essence. So they're really, so if you look at that card, it's just all heart-centered. And, and it, to me, again, like the wings are, the wings are, are starting to grow at the side. But it's all in the heart space, and, and I think that you've had, you've had a lot of healing to do around your heart. And this is why of, of a deep level, of a deep cellular level, where it's had to go, the healing has had to go to the, those inner cores, um, to those wounds that that perhaps they, that I feel don't even maybe relate to this lifetime that are actually wounds from previous lifetimes that you've carried and, and the, the, the soul memories that you've carried. And it's like when I look at this picture, it's like your vibration is shifting. If you look at, at the heart space there, oops, if you look at the heart space and then it's 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 got like a it's almost like the heartbeat. And I think I think what's happening is during this deep cleansing that you're doing, your cells are changing, you know, your your inner your inner DNA, it's on a very, very deep level. And I feel like, like I said, that these wounds are, are from eons and eons and, you know, might even date back to Lemuria, um, where your heart has been broken and you've carried a lot of wounds and the, the, the vibration will then shift. So this is like what's happening now. And you're feeling a bit lost and confused. But, you're, but remember that you're, the chaos is all part of ascension 
and you will it will restructure your DNA and you will rise and illuminate and shift into that high vibration and have that luminescence that is in this beautiful card where you're shining and and you're glowing and you're embracing that new vibration that high vibration that will allow you to step into further into further work around your purpose Mm -hmm. so I will pass over to Kaya now and see what she has with the drawings this is your drawing and the first thing what I painted was this and I got this sentence you're sitting on something and when I listened to Antoinette then it was so interesting that I got the feeling there's something going on and you don't understand it and it's deeply frightening and it is like you you feel there is something and you can't grab it with your mind and you you and it's right you can't grab this with your mind and this um it is in a way surrendering to what is happening and let you be infused and this is the shining and the wisdom of your soul from like Anton had said from from several lifetimes that will infuse you, that will that will just take place in you, that will unfold in you, and this will change you on a, on a cell memory level. And and your mind tries to control this at the moment. And and what I found interesting as well that I see you like in a in a healing bubble, so very protected, you're very very protected. And here is so the colors are not so good. This is all in rose colors, and there's this bit chaotic, but green healing energy around you. So, it what, what, what I feel it, it is about surrendering and letting happen what needs to happen without understanding it and accepting that you can't understand it and let your mind talk and say, Yeah, but, but, but. What and what happened then and what will it do to me and what will happen with my system and how will my life look like? Let it talk. This We are human beings. We are conditioned that our mind has to control and to understand everything. This is really human. Let it talk and listen and, 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 and just dive into your heart and breathe. <laughs> and breathe and dive into your heart, ground. Nature can help you, water as well. And let, let this process happen. It is happening anyway. The, the less you, you try to understand it, the easier it will be. And on another level, your heart and your soul are understanding because it is really like you merge with your true self. <laughs> I don't know if this makes sense you merge with yourself at the moment and this true self is to a certain level unknown to you because it was not allowed until now and it's just I can tell you miracle will happen and this is like like it's interesting because you you're talking about cell memories and 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 the cell cell level, like the sun and the shining. You're already shining. This when you let yourself, I see this is you, be infused by all these levels of what is more you, and will come through you, and let every every cell of your system. Be infused with these different layers of what, what is your true self and your wisdom and your your big healer as well. And they said there's there's a lot of, of healing wisdom coming through you and and you have chosen on a soul level you work with children really perfect because you your mission in a way for this moment of time is to heal people before they get conditioned completely to to remember them to stay in the true nature little human beings and you will 
the more you are yourself, you embody this, you will, you will, um, you don't have to teach this to the children because they can pick up on you, on your energy, on your cell system. I hope this is making sense for you. It's just your presence in the classroom as a teacher will remember the children to stay true and to, um, to connect with your true self again where they have already been conditioned. So you will do on one level the work with awareness and meditation and on another level your, your pure presence of being you, being the star seed, being this amazing powerful, beautiful you will remember them to be their beautiful, powerful to them. And this has to, has to be allowed to arise. And you have nothing to do, just surrender and breathe and listen to your mind, this whole panic here, obviously, mm -hmm. and protect you. Because it is conditioned to do that. So it's doing an amazing work on another level. And let it talk and say, yes, I hear you. Yes, I feel the fear in my system. Yes, I don't know where this will be to. And let it happen anyway. So I hope this makes sense. And I send you a lot of love. This is yeah. amazing what you're doing. Yeah, we send you lots of love. And and I was listening to what Kaya said, and, and it's it's like um, the message you're giving me is you're already leading. You're already leading by example. Yes. And you, you are you are um, through the the implementation of 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 the the meditation and, and the things that you've introduced into the classroom. You're actually um, they want to say to me, halting, halting the conditioning so that children are still able to be themselves. So mm -hmm. they see you as this incredible light. And you are this incredible light. Allow at the same time, allow yourself to go through the process because you're, you're going through some really, really deep healing. And please, please, if you need support, please reach out to either of us. We're here for come in the wisdom gathering circle. Thank you, Danny. Week. Yes. Yes. Yeah, definitely. So then we have a creature. Okay. Jared, you will be the, the last one. Don't worry, we'll come to you. And we will see what, what spirit will tell you through us. And thank you, Danny. So we so a creature. And then a creature. I'm I'm drawn to a rune for you. So let's do a rune reading for you. I know I know that a creature has just um, finished her university degree. I I believe. Yes, she did. Okay, so it's it's very it's very um, the room that I've picked out for you is very okay. Akriti, this is your room. Oops, this way, this way. Interesting. And when I look at this, I feel like. You've you are coming in. You've you're at a crossroads. You've finished your study, your official study. <laughs> and and uh, before looking at the actual, my internet's playing up. So hopefully I'm still on. Um, so looking at the actual actual um, picture, I feel like it's it's funny because it's 
it's what's coming up for me is you're at a crossroads and you're getting a little bit frustrated. So again, again we have an ongoing theme here as well, um, where a few people in the reading are at right now and that you're, you're sort of like really um, getting a little bit frustrated and a bit unsure and, okay, what's next for me? basically, like what's coming up next. I, I really don't know what direction I need to go. And, and it's interesting because when I look at the, um, at the, the sacred rune and, and the, the channeling that happened when I made this rune, it's actually called the rune of patience. <laughs> so you're being asked to be patient. <laughs> Um, which is not always an easy thing for us to do because we, we want it and we want it now and we want clarity now and, and you've, you've just finished your degree and you're at a crossroads and it's like, do I go this direction? Do I go that direction? Please help me because I don't know what direction I'm to go in or what direction I should go in. So what your guides are telling you through this rune is be patient, have understanding. Be tolerant, have acceptance, and have forgiveness. Go into your heart, Ekriti, as they're telling me, go into your heart. You've finished your formal training now, and you're not quite sure what is next. And, and I think there's a lot of also fear coming up, and, and up as well as impatience and 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 just show me now what I need to do because I don't know what I need to do or where I need to go. So they're really, they're really wanting you to be patient. And, but I actually think it's patient with yourself. It's, uh, there's, not, there's not anyone else involved here. I think it's patience, understanding, tolerance and acceptance with yourself. And maybe something you need to forgive yourself for. Uh, you know, there's, there's something that um, maybe the people around you, I'm, I'm, I'm tuning into the people that you were studying with, maybe have got like a bit of a clear path, like they know, they know what path um, that they want to go on. They, they've connected with the people that they need to connect with. They, they know where they're going. They know they may have a job or they may have a path to a job. Um, whereas um, you, I'm feeling that you're, you're not really sure. You don't know which way, you know, okay, I've finished my, my formal training now. What, which way, what, what path is going to open for me? What opportunity is going to actually come come for me? Which direction am I going to go? And they just keep coming back with patience. Have understanding for yourself. Don't have judgment for yourself in that perhaps other people around you are so organised and prepared and you've now finished your training and you don't exactly know what you're going to do or what you're going to go into. You haven't got anything lined up, they're saying to me, whereas people around you may have something lined up and, and I think you're being a bit hard on yourself because of that um, and, and not thinking and thinking to yourself, well, you know, I should have organised or I should have been being more... Um, more in action about what to do when I finish but I've, I'm just like all over the place and I don't know where I'm going so be patient with yourself be tolerant with yourself you know accept yourself accept where you're at accept the point where you're at and know that it's perfect for you and and though you know you don't have perhaps you don't have the clarity that you wish that you that you would have had at this point um, I, I think maybe you thought that once you finish your education that you, you would be clear as to what you want to do and where you're going to go. But I feel that there's still a lot of exploration for you on many levels. There's, you, you need to explore, you need to explore your soul, you need to explore your heart, you need or where, where your heart is taking you and accept the idea that you had or didn't have or to what everybody else around you that you studied with 
is actually doing. So have the understanding and have the forgiveness for yourself and, and the patience to, to, let, to let yourself sit in your space, to let yourself open your heart and listen to whatever is coming through and, and not, be, not be so hard on yourself or frustrated at yourself because you're not organized or you or you haven't got something lined up. So that's the message for you from your rune. I shall pass over to Kaya and 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 let her show you your your drawing. Thank you. Thank you, Antoinette. And this is again fitting totally perfect together. And this time I should do something. The first thing I painted was this, and I had had the message go with the flow. And and we, we 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 did some readings for you. So this is like way. And for me, what is interesting, I just I, we we always get the information for you that your way is clear. So there's nothing to fear. And what I I was so interesting. I have a something new special with this painting for you. I haven't done for the moment. So. I see you at the moment like disconnected from this. You're floating and you're comparing yourself what Antoinette said with the others who has clear jobs, who are engagements, who know the next steps. And you compare them, and you feel once more weird and different. And you are. And you're unique. And this is not that you are so, they are all unique. All your colleagues, everybody on earth is unique. And you I just, I feel that you once more in a little fight with this being special and uniqueness and want to be like the others. And with these thoughts, you disconnect yourself from what can happen for you, what is there for you. And another thing I found interesting when I saw the rune of Antoinette with the crossroads, I, I got the information and no matter what way you choose, there's no wrong way. All the ways will lead you where you are meant to be. And for this moment of time, they showed me, I will use this color. What you have to do, is first of all, connect yourself again with your intuition. And this is what you have lost for the moment. This is what, what makes you feel lost. And as soon as you do that and dive into your heart and as Antoinette said, accept where you are at the moment and that this is nothing wrong with not knowing, you will get, and this is these little balls, you will get possibilities, doors will open. But as long as you're disconnected, you don't see them because you it's like, you watch the others there, what they are doing, they have jobs that they know what to do. And, and a part of you want to be like them. And as you look in this direction, you don't see the open door that are there or this. Because you're disconnected from your own wisdom and your own path. I don't know if this makes sense for you. So what, what, what you need to do at the moment is See them, see the others, see their ways. Accept, and maybe this, this is with this, with this um, forgive yourself that you're jealous in a way as well and that you want to be like them. And forgive yourself that you're so hard on yourself being yourself. And it is so much about trusting this acceptance and patience is for me also um, deeply connected with trusting and we need when we are asked to be patient that we are asked to trust as well that we are in a in a realm of unknown we want something badly it is not yet there and what is asked to trust that that it will come whatever is meant for you will come to pass and it will what will help you immensely is to connect yourself with yourself again and Embrace this beautiful, different, unique, weird being that you are and that you have your unique way 
you will just diminish yourself when you compare yourself with us, with everybody. Stop it. It is human as well. I will. There's nothing wrong with this, but you you hurt yourself by doing that. So everything is there for you. And as as Anton had said, you're on a crossroads, and you're stepping really finished a big cycle. What I see as well that you need to rest for a moment and really to integrate. Some time. Yeah. Integrate all you ex have experienced. You're, you're a very sensitive being, don't forget this. You're very powerful and strong as well, but you're very sensitive. So for me at the moment is the time to rest, to rejuvenate, <laughs> to recharge, to be in nature, to... I, I just I, I think in, 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 in England they they the lockdown is, is over as well to enjoy life, to party, to swim, to sit in the sun or lie in the sun. Richard. Yes. And don't think too much about your future. And through this recharging you reconnect with yourself. And the doors will open, or you see the doors that are already there and open, but you don't see because you see, oh, they have this, they have this. I want to be, I want to be like them. I want to have this. You don't see this. You just hurt yourself by doing that. Okay. Yeah, very much so. I agree. You just have some time out. You know, it's, it's, have some time to actually accept that you have already finished your training and be proud of that as yes. well and you know and 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 be accepting of that and be in and it's okay that you don't have a path forward but the path you know that you're that you're unsure and and let's just think think just take it as you have now some time to to think you have not some now some time to connect with your soul and once you're in that space you will have that clarity it's just a case of with you you perhaps have learned different things going through your course from what other people have learned everybody takes out some and, and you now need some time to explore that and actually dig deep and find what you want to do going forward so don't be so hard on yourself beautiful girl and you have a mission here so your way is written you can't fail. Don't worry. Stop worrying. I know you're a Virgo like me and we have this monkey mind. <laughs> like all of us. Like all of us. Don't invest in that. And, and congratulations. You have finished your studies. How amazing is that? Oh, buddy going. Have some fun. Have some fun and just yes. enjoy. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy life. Especially if you're not in lockdown anymore. Yeah, and you know, you will meet people and you will talk about what you're doing. And, and there's so many doors open for you. You just have to be connected with yourself and you will see them and you can choose them which door. I hope this was helpful, Kriti. I hope so. Okay. We do our I'm last just going to now with Jared. Do our last with Jared. Um, he's just written a few comments, yes. Kaya. So I'm just going through. Feeling a little bit lost. Um, yeah, he needs some guidance. Okay. Jared, we will just have a look what will come through for you. And, and thank you for, for coming. You're the first time with us. Thank you for trusting us. Thank you for coming on and thank you for your patience. Yes. And um, you are you are the, our lucky last reading. Yes. So I need to know what my guides do because I haven't been on. Okay. And to let you know, we will we'll you just will, give you you can get back to the readings after this. I will set up a YouTube link with your timestamps as well. So if you don't get everything now, don't panic. You can come back to life. That's right. On yeah. our pages. Yeah. 
It will still be available on our on both of our pages and will also be on our YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. So it's it's okay if you've missed it or if you've um, you know missed some of it or if it's been too much. So you can replay it as many times as mm -hmm. you like. Yes. So Jared, um, I'm being drawn to a rune for you. Um, thank you for coming on and trusting us and. I, before I, I draw anything, I, I feel like you're really um, in a space of confusion and, mm -hmm. and I don't know how much of, um, of the reading you're actually tuned into. But once again, we're talking about the old systems crumbling and the new systems being built, but it's going to happen over time. And there are people awakening all over the earth and, and I've, just, I've just read that you see 1111 and, you know, have got ringing in the ears. So, so what, what I think is happening is you're actually going through some sort of activation um, and awakening. So, and that can be really, really scary for people that, um, <laughs> for people that haven't had these sort of happenings before. Um, you mentioned something about your your father um, passing away. I'm just trying to find um, the message for it that you wrote. Past one is is trying to reach me as well. Yeah, okay. All right. So, so Jared, I I just um, want to assure you that this is a safe space, and your your thank you for trusting us and trusting us with your with your, the information that you've shared. Um, what I believe is happening is is you're very confused. You're, there's a lot there's a lot happening around you. You're opening you're opening up. You know what we what we call your spiritual awakening. Um, I believe that you're desperately wanting to connect with your father because your father has got has got you believe that your father has a message for you and and that is beautiful that you're able to connect with spirit. All of this can be very scary. So I just want you to take a breath and just be able to to calm down and know that you are protected and your your guides your guides are protecting you and this is your time now to open up your consciousness and but it's it's a process and it all it's not a race it doesn't need to be done in five minutes and when all this information starts coming in and and I know and I think I can speak for Kaya as well that when it happened for me eight years ago it was very very confronting um, and it was very, um, I was quite fearful and I actually thought I was going crazy and I wasn't brought up around any of this spirituality work. So, Jared, I just want, before we start the reading, I just want to send you all our love and all of our light. And I'm sure all the souls that are on this reading are sending you that as well. And to just take a breath and know that you are held and you are protected. So I'm going to draw a room for you. Yeah, but what, what I can say, I just totally agree. What you can do in this moment as well, take a breath and feel your feet on the ground, and there's ground. This is something what I do a lot when I feel lost, that but what, what's grounding me and, and bringing quietness in my system. There is always ground under our feet. And you were guided to come in our reading. Thank you very much. So you're ready for some information. Having a look what Antoinette will tell you. I'm already painting. Uh, choosing a rune for you, Jared. And if you don't know what runes are, they're, they're basically, well, these ones have, I've created myself. So they're basically messages from spirit um, that I created when I was actually doing my course. So, and they gave me some symbols and they gave me channeled messages with the symbols. So I'm not sure, I just thought I'd give you that little introduction because I'm not actually sure if you know what a rune is. So this is, so this is a, um, the rune that I've picked for you. Now let me just find the channeled message that goes with that one. I'm I'm actually it's it's funny because it can go very many different okay. ways. 
and and I think and, and I think it's it's very indicative of where you where you are in this moment that you that you're going in all different ways in all different shapes and forms in in and and I and I think you're you're channeling information you're receiving information from your guides you're well at least you're you're receiving signs whether or not you're you know you're hearing them or seeing visions or seeing the 1111 which is classic of of awakening um you're it's it can be it's it's very confusing for you and they're wanting me to say like that there's basically there's a lot going on so let's try and give you some practical guidance for you and I'm just okay so I'm just trying to find sorry just bear with me I have 30 I have 30 runes so I'm just looking for the message that goes with this one Okay, so this rune, Jared, is light. This rune, rune is called light. And what I feel for you is that you are connecting with the light. I feel that you've had a very troublesome, you've had a lot of challenges in your life. And spiritual awakening can come with dark nights of the soul which we call which we call um, you know deeply challenging personally challenging either events or um, feelings or maybe um, I, I really feel like it goes back to the death of your father when your when your father passed on it it was, there was a lot of grief, there was a lot of loss, um, a lot of pain. Uh, you found it deeply challenging and, and you've been willing to connect with him and that desperation for you to be able to connect with him is really, really strong in you. And I just want to let you know that when you connect with your loved ones in spirit, it doesn't have to be a direct message. It can be a feeling or, it, you know, I, I feel like you're, you're desperate to know what he wants to portray to you. But I feel that it's you're putting so much pressure on yourself and you're getting like in a really anxious state and you're starting to open up to the light within you and the light within the universe and it's more as as more and more light comes in you're getting more and more confused that's what I feel that you are doing and you're starting to feel you're starting to feel your guides you're starting to feel your father's spirit coming through and it's all becoming too overwhelming and it's for me it's They, they want you to know that it's okay. They really want you to know that it's okay. Take your time, they're saying. It's okay. When you feel, when you feel these paranormal experiences or whatever you're feeling, it's this vi new vibration. It's this shifting within you. And the pain that you felt when your father passed away I feel that there was something unresolved as to why you're perhaps really anxious to connect with his spirit. But please know, just being aware of his presence, you are already connecting with his spirit. And it's really, really important to take a step back and, and not put so much pressure on yourself to be able to, to, to figure out that message is. I think he wants you to feel safe. He doesn't want you to feel overwhelmed or confused 
the feeling that I'm feeling that he's sending you now is a feeling of love and a feeling that he's with you and he just really wants you and and my voice is softening because he really wants you to be gentle on yourself he really wants you to know how much he loved you and and that you're feeling that there's something that's unresolved that you didn't have a chance to do or say. And he wants you to know that it's okay. And, and I, I feel such a gentle spirit coming through that I feel like I have to soften my voice for him to come through me because he's he's just so gentle and so loving and 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 there's, there's nothing more, there's nothing more to say, he says. There's, there's, I just want you to know that I'm with you and I'm supporting you and I'm guiding you. And, and he's, he just wants you to be safe and not be so hard on yourself and confused. And, and he's saying to this light, this room, the light, the light, look to the light. Hold the light within yourself. Know that the universe has got your back. You are starting to awaken and it's and you're confused and you don't know what to do. And please know it's a process. Awakening is a, an ongoing process. Ascension is an ongoing process. You you've you've gone through your dark night, whatever that was, whether it was your father passing away or another event. And now you're opening up to your light. But for us to open to our light, we have to go through our shadow. And when we go through our shadow, a lot of it, a lot of stuff is going to come up for you. And your father wants you to know you are supported. You're not alone. You may, I think you feel like you're really alone and and you're not, you're not supported by anybody. But know that your guides and your father's spirit and there are so many people out there that can help you and support you and this is this is not well, it's normal to be confused and it's not me to do and and especially when you start traveling through different realms and experiencing different different paranormal experiences you know and synchronicities and all that especially if it's, it can be very frightening and confusing and I just I'm really from our heart space we just really want you to know that you are held and you are protected and you are starting to connect with your light and it's a beautiful thing but it's a process and Please feel supported. Please feel loved. Please don't feel. Um, please don't feel like it's it's something. There are a lot of people awakening all over the world at the moment, and there's a lot of chaos. The old systems are breaking down to bring in the new system. And people, people, some people are being very resistant and not wanting to move into the new. So you're on your own exploration. You're on your own self-discovery, step by step. You know, I, I feel like you, you I, I want to say do, do some reading, do some research. Um, but then also... The, and know, you know, perhaps it might be good for you to join some groups or um, support, you know. And Kara and I run a circle. If you would like to join that, you're very welcome to join that. And we go through that. Um, it's, it's totally up to you. But all I can say is you're opening up to your light. Trust in that. Trust that you are on the path and that you are protected and and there is there is no rush it's not a, it's not a race you know you need to go through your steps and healing is a journey is is a lifetime journey you know it's 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 
we think we heal and we heal more and then we heal more and then we heal more and and it's beautiful and we all have this capability and for you this is your time now you're being awakened spirituality and to your awareness so I'm going to pass over to Kaya and she will show you your drawing I hope this has brought you some comfort and some help and uh, I'll pass over to Kaya now Thank you, Jared. And I was listening to Antoinette and I was reading your comments. So I read as well that you the heroin addict. And this made sense for me for what I feel. Thank you for opening up and being that um, courage. So this was a painting I made. And I have the feeling with this information from Antoinette, when I feel you are highly sensitive and you have a lot of really shitty experience in your life, very, very painful. And what you're doing with heroin, this is, this feels like healing in the moment when you take it because you stop feeling pain. And you suppress your healing on the same time. And what, what I can't do when I, when I was painting, they had this, there's so much, you're so in confusion and you're, you're far away from your heart, from your own self-love. And it is like you have to follow these lines to find, to find this heart. And it is like you're running, you're running behind all the time. You're running behind to come in peace, to come to yourself. And then you take the drugs and then then you have moments of peace and when 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 the effect of the drugs is ending you feel so much more confused and you have a lot of different voices and there's the ego and there's pain and then you have you're really gifted you have this is a, the voice of your soul coming through but in these moments, you don't know which one is which one, and you, you're becoming more and more and more confused, and you have a strong calling. You have a really strong calling, and and you don't know Antoinette's history for the moment of time and not mine, and especially Antoinette has gone through really, really deep shit in this lifetime and really painful. And a lot of, of healers and, and light people who are supposed to help others have to experience pain by themselves. And we can't heal our pain without going through the pain. And this is something you, by taking drugs, you prevent yourself in a way and you protect yourself to feel this pain, but you prevent yourself also from a deep, 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 deep healing. So and this is for sure something you can't do alone. So what I see for you to come in contact with your essence, with your heart, with your soul, it is, it is an important step to stop taking drugs. And for sure this is so much easier said because when you do this, in this sensitivity you have, the whole pain will come up. So you need really support. And first of all, you need, and you can take time for that, the decision to do that, to, to follow this the calling of your soul and to say, okay, this will be painful. It will be very painful. I can't tell you otherwise. When you start taking drugs, the pain will come up and you're so sensitive and you're so fine. You're really a fine person, an empath. So the whole pain will come up. And this is something you can't hold by yourself and alone. And you're not supposed to. So what I, I would suggest, but this is totally up to you, have a look and, and, and go in contact with clinics or with therapeutic um, institutions who can help you to do this first step. And for sure there's kind of a contradiction because when you go the, the classical way, 
you might not suppose to find a therapist who understand your spiritual calling. And this might be complicated as well. So maybe you can go both ways. You need really help on a physical level to go away from the drugs. And you need to go away from the drugs to come really in contact with your soul and to call in your soul. But this will bring up a lot of pain that is suppressed at the moment. So I just, as Antoinette said, we are running circles. We, we both give personal sessions as well. And, and I think you need really help on a really physical, classical level to make a therapy to come back from the drugs. And being aware that, that this, is, this is not an easy way. Your soul has not chosen an easy way. As most, or I, I would say, all light workers, we have really shitty experiences in this lifetime and others. And we have chosen this lifetime, there's this big transformation we are in worldwide to heal. And healing is going through the emotions and feeling. Can't avoid this. And, and I think this question with your father, your father is supporting you and he's telling you, you are strong enough. You can do that. He's with you. I don't know how your, your relationship was when he was alive. Well, I feel that, that you had the feeling to be never enough for him or to, to not be worthy of his love. And he was deeply wounded by himself. And maybe he wasn't possible to show you his love while he was alive but now in the other dimension he's really there and, and telling he's supporting you whatever you decide to do he's with you and sending you you know now as he is on the other side he's not not any longer restricted with all the pain he he has experienced in his lifetime by himself and he's not any longer restricted by not being able to show his love he is pure love and he is now able to love you fully as you are. And however you decide to go on, he will support you. And you can come back to this, but it is a way and it's not an easy one. Yeah, it's, it's a process and it's... <sighs> Um, I've been listening um, to Kaya and reading your comments as well and, and it's it's really, really difficult when you're an empath and you feel things so, so um, deep and you experience everything so deeply and we've all had pain in our lives and, you know, I didn't, I didn't turn to drugs but... I blocked a lot of my pain and as a result I was physically ill so Jared knowing that you know that you've turned to turn to drugs the light is trying to come in you know your father's now on the other side and he's giving you the strength and he's there for you, supporting you, wanting you to take that step and for you to be able to connect with that intuition and those gifts that you have being an empath. You, got, you, you need to go through that physical healing. And as Kaya said, in order for you to find your authentic self and to be able to connect on a spiritual level, on the way that you wish to connect with your guides and your and your father, you need to purify your body. And again, I would recommend, as Kaya said, to try to take some steps. And this is, of course, up to you. This, we are, we can only give you guidance to start purifying 
the body because this, we are we are humans. We are spiritual beings in a human existence. And I know for myself that even though I didn't turn to drugs, I blocked a lot of the feelings. And until I actually allowed myself to acknowledge those feelings and to actually love those feelings, I did not start my healing. So I think, first of all, the first step is to make your body stronger. You need to have to purify your body and perhaps go through a program of rehabilitation somehow um, if, you're, if, you're, if you have access to that or, you know, seek help to actually purify your body because your intuition and your, your real self is wanting to open up to the light, but they have, it has these other distractions. So for us to be able to heal on that deep level that we need to heal, we need to actually face our shadow and face our challenges, and that's really, really hard. And, you, you know, you, you, I've done it, Kaya's done it, and... We've both had a lot of challenges in our lives. We're still doing it. But I think I can We go through still doing it. One pain. We'll continue and, to do it. And the next one is coming up. So it's, it's a way. It's a lifelong journey. It's a lifelong journey. But you are now is your time for you to start awakening. You are getting the signs from the universe. What you are feeling is real. Please know that what you are feeling is real real you are not going crazy you are starting to connect with your intuition but you need to make your body stronger mm -hmm. and for that you need to take the first step towards purifying your body so that you are able to hold that space for yourself and just now i read some comments well thank you Antoinette and um um you read that you had the feeling that your father was loving your brothers more than you. You know, I just, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an only child, but I, I lived with a man who had different children and they were very jealous of the love of the father. And what, what is true, parents treat children different because all children are different. And parents, and sometimes they love them different as well. But when you tune in the heart of a parent, if it's a father or the mother, up to condition and how they are able to show the love, the love for every child has the same power. The expression is different. So you can do that. And, and the other thing, you know, you felt different as a child. We all did. And we all felt not like a part and different and weird and I did all my life, I felt different. I, I tried to fit in. I tried so hard to fit in and had always the feeling of being outside. And since I connected with Antoinette and other people who are on this spiritual path, what is for me the path to find ourselves, our true nature, I found soul family and people who, were, who felt different their whole life as well. And I just can, can, can tell you, so obviously you have contacted us, you are in search for help. So you are strong enough. This is the beauty of when we are born with this high sensitivity and, and we were trained on sensitivity by the parents we our soul have chosen. We were given the, the power as well as the strength to go through all the shit. We have it. And just now you have this support from, from, from spirit and from, from the universal realm. But when you decide to, to detox, you need physical help. Don't do it alone. You need people who support you, human beings around you, and, and, and medicines and really uh, physical. This is nothing to do by your own. Really not not a good idea no. and there is support you can find that but it needs your decision 
and admit that you contact, go in contact with the strength in yourself and you have it. I can feel it in you to go through that. I hope we have helped you, Jared. And, yes. and please know that, you know, you are not alone. There are always people out there that can help you on your journey. And, and like we said, we, we suggest that you look into getting professional um, rehabilitation in terms of drug drug um, drug use and and try to to work with that to detox I know that you said you work two jobs and it's very hard yes. for you to, to go through a detox um, just give it some thought and know that you know you need that you need that physical strength in order to to hold the shifting that's happening on a spiritual level without that physical strength you will go back into confusion and you will go back into into dark night because you're not able your body's not able to hold that vibration so and your gifts will not be able to emerge with that toxication in in your body so we hope that this has helped you jared and thank you so much for being so open and and sharing with us about your your challenges and we hope that this has helped you we send you a lot of love and strength and belief in yeah. you and, and you know you what is interesting when you will decide to detox and this is totally up to you you will so come so much closer to your soul and your heart and this will give you so much peace and power and let you feel so much more safe in yourself and, and the drugs separate you from this power at the moment as well. Even they give you peace in that moment because you stop feeling. So all the best for you. So much love and light, Jared, and, and please, please know that there are people that can support you and guide you. And believe in yourself. You can do this. Yes. Okay. okay. Shall we shut? Shall we yes. shut? Down? We did one time. hour already longer than we wanted. Yeah. So this was an exceptional one. Yes, it was an exceptional reading. And um, thank you to all of you that that joined. There were a few people that joined a bit late. Um, yes. Please, please come back on next month next, when we yeah, on the 8th of August, which will be Lionsgate, a very special energy day. So if you would like to come back on um, on that day and we can read for you then, that would be that would be lovely. We would welcome you to come back. Thank you to everybody that joined us tonight. I hope that our messages and our guidance has been helpful for you. Um, we have the Wisdom Circle next Sunday night at 7 p.m. Sydney time, 11 a.m. Yeah, Paris, Paris, Europe. And all the other different times in Europe. Um, <laughs> so we'll be, we'll be running Canada. that in <laughs> Canada or America or wherever you are or wherever you're listening from. Um, some ungodly hour, I'm sure, in America. Um, Please join us. You can. You will we'll be putting out an announcement. You'll be able to to join us by giving us a message and letting us know that you would like to join the circle. Um, that that announcement will be going out in the next couple of days, and you'll be able to see that on our Facebook pages. And like Kai mentioned, if you would like to re-listen to your reading, you can go back onto Facebook, on either of our pages or on YouTube also to, to listen to listen to your um, your reading. And I will make pictures, photos of the paintings and and um, post it on your comments so everybody can see the painting as a comment on your comments. Oh okay and I'll probably I'll probably do the same. I'll take photos of the of the cards of oh, actually because every time I, I keep forgetting to actually take take a record of it. But um, I, I will take a photo. If, if you had a rune, I will take a photo of the rune and put it on. 
if you had a card or cards in some circumstances, I would take a photo of them and also put them on. For me, it's coming into late at night, so I will do this tomorrow. So please be patient and I will put them up tomorrow. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you, everybody, for having a beautiful July. Have a lovely July and remember that the universe has got our back. Love to you all. Bye. Bye.